Hi guys, this is Dr. Vishal Gabale and welcome to my YouTube channel. Imagine this, the results are out and your name is right there at the top of the list. Your family is celebrating, your friends are congratulating you and you finally feel the weight of your hard work turn into sheer joy. You are not just getting a rank, you are getting your dream college, the dream future and the life you have always imagined. Feels amazing, doesn't it? But now, let's pause. If this is, why is that only 2% of the students make it to a this point? While the rest, despite their effort, fall short. It's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. And that's exactly what I'm here to show you today. Well, first you should know why most people don't make it. First, the difference between the top 2% and the rest is an intelligence or resources. It comes down first is lack of clear plan. Most students start strong but get lost in the vast levels. They don't know what to prioritize or how to track progress. Second is poor retention strategies. Revisiting once and hoping to remember everything doesn't work. Our brains are naturally wired to forget unless we actively reinforce the material. Third is burnout from ineffective study methods. Many students spend hours studying but fail to focus or use techniques that maximize learning. Now this leads to exhaustion, frustration and eventually giving up. But here is the good news. If you address these three issues, you can not only crack the exam but also enjoy the process. Let me show you how. So this is the step-by-step -step guide for cracking any exam. Step 1. Visualize your success. Before anything else, you need a clear vision of what you are working for. Studies in psychology shows that visualization primes your brain for action. Spend 5 minutes every day imagining your name on the top of the rankings, your admission letter in the hand, and the pride of your family's eyes. It's not just motivation, it's setting the tone for your journey. Step 2 is to build your winning strategy. The first step to success is having a plan. And here is a framework I call the Smart Rank Formula that has helped countless students, including me. S is for specific goals. Set clear, actionable targets. For example, instead of saying, I will study medicine, say, I will finish infectious disease and solve 50 MCQs today. Clarity leads to focus. Number two is M, master high yield topics. 80% of the questions comes from 20% of the syllabus. And still you don't know how to solve it? Identify the high yield areas, whether it's serious, pathology or pharmacology, and master them. For non-medical exams, focus on unmost scoring sections. Number three is A. A for assess yourself weekly. Take a mock test every week. This isn't just for about scores. It's about learning from your mistakes, improving your weak area. And fourth is R for revise like a pro. Use 1715 rule in which revise today's material tomorrow, review it again after seven days, and reinforce it after 15 days. This aligns perfectly with the science of spaced repetition. Now, fifth is T, that is for time management. Now you have to divide your time wisely. Use the Pomodoro techniques, study for 25 minutes, take a 5 minute break and then repeat. This keeps you focused and revenge burnout. Along with the smart rank formula, you should also know how to master retention. Well, let's dive into the techniques backed by the neuroscience that will help to retain more in less time. First is called as active recall. Instead of rereading notes, close your book, quiz yourself. Research shows that it strengthens your neuronal connections far more effectively. Second is interlived practice. Don't study one subject for hours. Alternate between two to three topics. For instance, study pathology for an hour, switch to pharmacology, then do MCQs for microbiology. Well, this will help your brain to keep engaged and it improves retention. Step three is chunking and visualization. Break complex terms into smaller sections. Use diagrams, make flowcharts or mind maps that connect the concepts visually. Einstein himself believed in solving problems through visualization. Next is step 4, which is I think most important, that is taking care of your mental and physical health. Always remember, healthy mind resides in a healthy body. Your brain is your greatest tool, so take care of it. First is by taking good sleep. Around 7 to 8 hours of sleep every day helps to improve memory consolidation according to studies. Always remember, sleep isn't a waste of time. It's a saving of your energy. Second is exercise. Even 20 minutes of walk can improve your cognition. Third is most important that is nutrition and hydration. Fill your brain with food rich in omega-3, vitamins, antioxidants. Stay hydrated because dehydration can reduce focus by almost 
and lastly step 5 that is to adopt a growth mindset well this is what separates the top 2 percent from the rest a fixed mindset sees failure as the end while a growth mindset sees it as the stepping stone if you miss a target don't panic analyze and adapt as thomas edison said i have not failed i have just found 10000 ways that won't work your mistakes are part of your learning curve make as many mistakes as you can do in the grand taste in the mock taste but make sure you don't repeat it now let me leave you with this thought success isn't a big leap it is a series of small consistent steps every hour you spend studying every mock test you take and every mistake you correct is bringing you closer to your dream so don't just work hard work smart stay disciplined and trust the process and when you finally achieve that top rank remember it wasn't luck it was your strategy your effort and your belief in yourself so that's it for this video guys if you liked it or if you have any doubts just put it in the comment section and don't forget to like it share this with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing content like this.